Hey guys! Howdy! What's up and welcome back or to The Roomies Digest. My name's Christine. I am Mo. And today... We are going to be doing the Netflix book tag. We were tagged by... So I think it's just kind of like quest like themes that have to do with Netflix but obviously related Bookish. to books. So we're gonna get straight into it. Okay. Bum! Bum. Da, 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 bum, bum, da. The first one is recently watched and that is the last book you finished reading and I literally finished a book yesterday and it was when oh where excuse me where the crawdads sing uh by Delia Owens I finished that for a uh, buddy read with my mom shout out to you and <laughs> mother um miss angela miss angie so um uh, yeah it was pretty good it wasn't the best book i've ever read but i would recommend it just for like the atmosphere it definitely created the south like it was definitely about the the environment the animals and the marsh all of that the culture it was definitely there mm -hmm. but i felt like the beginning dropped a little bit but anyway that's the last book i read and the last book that i finished was empire of gold by s.a chakraborty guys that's the final book in the david Bud trilogy i really liked it did it end how i wanted it to end i didn't even check on you yesterday i'm so sorry I think I would have heard you howling in pain. Yeah, it wasn't a horrible ending. <laughs> I'll say that. Did it end how I wanted it to end? The answer is no. But did it make sense for what happened? Yes. So I can't be mad at it because it literally does make sense. But it's just like it, of the two ways it could have made sense, why we have to go that way. Anyway, so I've decided I'm just going to write my own perfect fantasy series and oh. then things will be my way. It's pretty much the way. Yeah. All I right. I just realized there are all these books right here. You want to just do this all over? It's only the first one. So you can just say the title. I'm just, I mean, this is going to be a cute thing where we're just going to take it out. Okay. You guys heard it here first. More tired. All right, we're leaving it in. Or are you doing just? There's a wig, Christy. <laughs> What's happening? I didn't put it away for from wig hour. <laughs> Should I put this on? Why not? I'll put it on for one question. All right. Question two. Yeah, question number two. Get you situated. Oh, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be cute, y'all. This is not gonna. I be. think if you're gonna put it on, you should put it on. You know. Oh my God, my. Look at you and your blonde roots showing. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I just got in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> the wig is to the side. <laughs> I would Excuse never get me. in a fight. Oh, I would never Not get in a fight on. with my wig unsecured. Like that oh, is just yeah. asking for more embarrassment than necessary. First of all, I did not condone physical violence, but. If I had to, I, th I think it had to be like on there, like Gorilla Glue. Anyway, number two. <laughs> Obviously not this situation. See how I rhyme those? Gorilla Glue. Top picks. A recommended book slash books based on books you have previously read. Okay, a recommended book slash books based on a book you've previ previously read. Okay, I can definitely do that right now. Tired David Bad Trilogy. I no. used it for her. No, actually, <laughs> though if you do like that, I, I can give you some recs. But... Where I was going with that was, if you have read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, then I believe that you would really like this other trilogy by Susan E. It's called, I don't know actually what the trilogy is called, but I know the first book is right called Angel Fall. Let me just look at Angel Fell. This, the second book is World After. I don't think they have a title of the trilogy. I think it's just the Angel Fell. Praise for Angel Fall. I'm saying different things, but it's the trilogy. Yeah, you've been saying Angel Fell this whole time. I know. And I've been trying to correct you, but I'm, I'm giving so up. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Anyway, Angel Fall Trilogy by Susan E. Um, this is actually the second book, but it is like Daughter of Smoke and Bone, just without all the fluff. So if you guys are like, you're like, I really want to get in there. I want, I really want to get that star-crossed lover trope with some angels and like a, a human. That's your book. That's your trilogy. Okay. That's my rec. Okay, let me think. Yes, so if you have read Beach Read yeah. and you loved it, I would recommend the Simple Wild series. So there, I will start with Simple Wild and go to Wild at Heart. I haven't read Forever in Love or Forever at Heart. Wild at Heart? 
Forever Wild. Can't One of tell those. you the title, but I know for a fact it's gonna close out the series well. So if you like a little emotional romance, like an emotional mm -hmm. layer to your romance books, yeah. definitely recommend. What's wrong? <laughs> this is a real fun we're just having fun why'd you put the glasses on too <laughs> felt like it okay so i recommend simple wild it does look crazy yeah and my roots done. if you like i recommend the simple wild if you like romance with a little emotional layer on it oh this is I great my recently up. added Ooh. the last book you bought oh man we bought a couple oh man oh man um the last book i bought I mean, technically, the last book I bought today, <laughs> recently, <laughs> yeah, was Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Um, the choice. other by someone I don't know, like a classic book. And I also bought the sequel to Vicious, so Vengeful by D.E. Schwab. You got that on Amazon. Yeah, I got that. That on the mail this week. You bought Bookshop. a lot of books. Yeah, I bought a lot of books for someone who never buys books. You know, sometimes when I'm like. When I'm ready, I'm ready. The and then I bought, this is going to be a surprise if Rachel, if you're watching this, I bought Sleeping Giants. I don't know what I was doing, but I bought Sleeping Giants and Winter's oh, no. Orbit. So Winter's Orbit? Ah. Big loser. <laughs> wow. So those are all the books I I'm bought. so excited. I've been wanting to read that for so long. I yeah. mean, Sleeping Giants, yes. But, yes. you know, Winter's Orbit's cute. a little bit later. I was like, it is going to be so The sorry. premise sounds really cute. So those were the books I bought. That's really exciting. Wow. Okay, so we're doing all the books. I mean, mine weren't that big, so I was like, I would. So today, um, <laughs> I bought Catching Fire and Mocking Jay in hardcover. I have been looking for them in hardcover, so now I just need to get the Hunger Games. I got two N.K. Jemison books. One, it's the two books in the I'm blanking Broken on the name. Earth. Thank you, the Broken Earth trilogy. So not the fifth season because that's the first book, but I thrifted. The Obelisque Gate, and then what's the other one? I forget what the other one's called. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a true fan. Parallelograms. I don't know. I don't know if that's. <laughs> let me see. No, it's not called Parallelograms. Oh, the Stone Sky. I was okay. Like, Parallelograms Gate. Uh, para, para, blah, blah, blah. And the Stone Sky. So yeah, fun stuff there. And then I also bought Dawn by Octavia E. Butler. I've never read anything by Octavia E. Butler before. So yeah, bought that. And then I also bought Stormtroopers by I think his last name is Heinland. Heinland. Robert Heinland. Heinland. And that, of course, you know, I said this in the vlog, but I was influenced by that by a specific person. So those are the most recent buys that I've got. Popular on Netflix. Books that everyone knows about, two you've read, and two you have no interest in reading. Two that we've read. Well, I've read Beach Read. I recently have read Red, White, and Royal Blue. Yes, you have. I also read The Queen of Nothing, which I really enjoyed. I mean, Where the Crawdads Sing and... Everybody knows about that one. The Midnight Library I read recently for book club. Mm -hmm. Two books that I have no interest in reading, though, that are very popular. Ooh. You know, I'm going to say my two, and I'm going to say my two. Go for it. Please. One. One last stop. You have no interest? Yeah. Go ahead and say the other one, then. I was going to say it for you. Danny Brown. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know where I went wrong with everyone. Yeah, I just, I'm not saying I'm never going to read them. I'm just saying right now, currently, I don't feel a need to go out and buy them. Right now, I'm like really focused on all my fantasy books and, you know. To be honest, it's what it is. I'm not in a rush to read, even though I really love Daisy Jones and the Six, I'm not in a rush to read Evelyn Hugo. I don't know why. Like, I really want to read it. That's also another one that I could say as well. Like, I, I want to read Milo Rising more than I want to read Evelyn Hugo, which is strange to say, because everyone likes it. So I feel like I have to read it. Read it. So yeah. I will read it. It's just I'm not. Yeah, I feel like people like Evelyn Hugo the best. I know, but I don't know why. I think it's like the cover. I think it's the cover. Yeah, I was gonna say because I feel like the cover also puts me off. I'm like, mm. yeah. Uh. Oh, I know. I have no interest in reading the one that you started. Not the Gilded Leaves. The other one. Crown of Gilded Bones. From Blood and Ash. From Blood and Ash. See. I would say you should read from Blood and Ash and then don't read the other two. Okay, but I don't have interest, so. Yeah, that's so that's the it. From that Blood and Ash. It took me a minute to get there. I was like, I know the I know the lettering. FBA. But I don't know what the word is. Fababa. Fababa. <laughs> Comedies. A funny book. 
I'm gonna say Eve Brown, hilarious. Honestly, wait, I'm taking it back and I'm gonna say Project Hail Mary was hilarious. Andy Ware. Oh, sleeper agent. Yeah, I take it back. I really laughed at Beach Read. I laughed at Beach Read a lot. Oh yeah, that is I a was like LOLing at that book. That is a hilarious book. Just like the quick, because it's got that quick wit between the two main characters. And like that's, I truly crave that in a romance. I'm like, oh man. Honorable mention. So I'm good. like two chapters into Danny Brown and I've already like chortled loudly. <laughs> chortled. Chortled. See, if I get a good report from you, maybe I'll be interested in it. I think I'm going to, I think I can because I'm telling you, it was the romance audiobook on pause that had me like, ooh, ooh, ooh. anyway. <laughs> Number six. Okay. Dramas. A character who is a drama queen slash king. Ooh, um, Her Royal Highness. Don't remember the girl's name, but the main character, not the main character, but the one that she like likes in that book. That was such a fun book. I just read it. Her Royal Highness. Okay. Okay. It's so good. I really think you should read it. Okay. Anyway, audio was good. Ooh, it causes a lot of drama in a book. I'm trying to think of the first one that pops into my head. I mean, I would say Ryzen, but... I mean, recent, <laughs> but honestly, recent is a drama king. He is a drama king, and if he doesn't get his way, he acts like a big B R A T. But so I've only read two books, and to be honest, it was Pharaoh causing a lot of drama. Ooh, and so is that the answer? That will be my answer. Pharaoh seven animated a book with cartoons. That's an illustrated cover. I'm just gonna say the entire Brown Sisters trilogy. Ooh, and this one. Felix Ever After? Yeah. I'm going to hold it. Yeah. it right here. Beautiful. Just one of the most like... beautiful books I own, I swear. It's beautiful. Like, what are you doing? You really did that. The one that I, I like, am really excited for that I'm reading next month, Spin the Dawn. It's really pretty. The blue matte color. Honestly, freaking beautiful. And then also the inside is just that pretty yellow color. Like, they really did that. I mean, she, she really did that. So, anyway. Nice, nice. I'm just grabbing stuff. Uh, literally, all the books we read. We just have, have books everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surrounded by books. <laughs> all right, watch it again. A book or book series that you want to reread. I know the Cruel Prince trilogy. Okay. As I, soon as I finished it, I wanted to reread it. I have said this a few times, but I would love to have the first experience of reading Beach Read again. Oh, I would reread most romances. I would reread the ones that I liked. I have. I don't really reread books often, but that was the one where what I was like, I do? "Wow!" It's like I don't think I could ever get this feeling back. Like I was truly on a ride with that book. Nine documentaries recommend a nonfiction book everyone should read. The one that I'm reading next month, I'm gonna recommend it. I haven't read it yet, but I have it on good authority that it's good. It's Ace. And yeah, I just feel like everybody should read it so that you get that POV, that perspective, and get a little more understanding in life. So that's gonna be my rec. I would recommend, well, I guess if we're doing memoirs, I was thinking of like actual topics. I was recommend if we're doing memoirs, um, Becoming by Michelle Obama. I think everyone should read that book. And I guess that will be that. Be yeah, Becoming answer. was really good. Yeah. Ooh, action and adventure, an action packed book. Do you have one? Yeah, I've got three. Go for it. David Bad Trilogy. Of course. I really thought the way I was looking, you were going to just say it for me. I didn't want to assume, but of course, yes. Save a Bad Trilogy. Love that for all of us. Um, Political intrigue, action, adventure. I'm going to say The Da Vinci Code, so that's my answer for that. You know, a little puzzle solving. Da Vinci. You know, the Vatican, the Catholic Church, you know, solving a, a murder and everything else. Mystery, intrigue, action, suspense. Yeah entanglement anyway and then we have new releases a book that just came out or will be coming out soon that you can't wait to read there's just so many there's one that's coming out literally that ah so guys i think that it's called gear breakers gear breaker can you go to our amazon list when you get a chance gear breakers okay yeah by zoe hana makuda yeah i'm really excited for that What's it about? I believe it's a sci-fi. Oh, I've seen this. It's coming out June 29th, so in like two days. Probably out by the time this video comes out. And it just looks so freaking cool. I mean, okay, I can't find the book I was thinking of, but I am waiting patiently. <laughs> 
for any updates on Legendborn. Oh my god. And I thought you were gonna say Ninth House too. And I was about to. And any updates on Ninth House. Ninth House. If I do so, go, please advise. Please advise, yes. Please advise. There was a particular book, but I can't remember the title and you know We're at that point of the day. Where you know. There's so many other books I can mention. Sun's going down and our memories are just fading away out into the abyss. Uh, I think that was the last one. I think now we're just going to tag some people. Cuckoo, cuckoo. So we're going to tag Andy from Red by Andy. Jess Owens. Jess, Jess Owens. Let's do Jess Verity Reads. Verity yep. Books. Yep, Verity Books, I believe. Okay. And uh, Stephanie. Stephanie, Stephanie Bookish. Bookish. Yes. I want to do the two Bookish Hannahs and the Bookish Potatoes. Got to get our duos in there. Yeah, got to throw our duos in there. Our duos. And that Greg from Greg's Library and Eric. Break even books. And while we're at it, Erin. Of the borrowed list. Boom. I think her Instagram is borrowed list. Her YouTube is Erin Mac, I think. Mac, yeah. I was about to say a whole other person. I'm so sorry. You know, like we say every time, guys, it's a true test of friendship if we know it off the dome. Yeah. It truly is. Yes. So. So, yeah. I think this was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Good Rex, I think. I feel like I mentioned Beatrice a lot, and I think that just is a testament to how good Emily Henry crafted that story. She liked our real the other day, I meant to tell you. <gasps> mm -hmm. She liked our real? I was like, Emily, could we be friends? Mm. 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 If she only knew, if she only knew how much I loved that book, or we did. She, we could write her a letter today. This was really fun. Um... You can wrap it up. I don't even know why I was trying. Oh, you were, um, yeah, you were, you were going. Just do it. Okay. This was really fun. If you want to see more tag videos, you know, drop some comments down below. Tell us what you is want. out there. Yeah, because we are here what's for y'all. What's going uh, on? What's, what's happening? What's happening? What's going on? So, yeah. So, again, drop some comments down below. Let us know what you like, what you don't. Give us a thumbs up if you did like it. You can, you know help us out give us a thumbs up and you can also subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and then there's a bell that will notify you guys when new content's out it's like a whole system they've got going ding <laughs> so <laughs> i'm so losing it <laughs> we're gonna go so we can take our thumbnail photo now Woo! see you guys on the next one bye, bye.